Hello everyone, welcome back to All Pawns, All Hope. This is a new series we'll be doing. I don't think we can really call this a speed run, but you know, I'd like to try to improve my game to some landmark, like 2000. I'll try to play games every week, and at the end, um, my buddy who's 2000 will review and sort of scold me for my rudimentary errors. It should be interesting. I am a 2000-ish rated. So I'm going to look over his games and see if I can insert any wisdom, mm -hmm. some sort of commentary uh, after the games, and see if I can inject any insights. Let's just get a game under our belts today. So let's respond with this move. Now, the Coward Chess speedrun is something that I know, I'm more used to, so the French defense sort of lends itself well to, to that. Um, so I don't know too much about the French. I think this is the next move. And then, I don't know, something like this. You know, the reason I started playing the French, there's this like app called Opening Tree where you can like look at the success of some op of certain openings. Um, now I think here I'm supposed to just take this. Um, yes, but uh, the French defense scores extremely well um, compared to, you know, most openings um, with black. Uh, it's almost completely, statistically, at my level, it's like the same as having a game with white. I think a lot of people are unfamiliar with it. But that being said, I am also unfamiliar with it, clearly. So I'll stop talking for a second here and try to focus on the tactics. I think if I go here, if he just gobbles the pawn greedily, then I can take this with check, which is sort of a disaster for him. So let's see if he goes for this trap. Who knows? Maybe he grabs the pawn greedily. So maybe this, then this is comes with check and he has to move his king. So I don't know, that seems like a disaster. And then yeah, I don't know exactly how I would follow this up, but it can't be good for him. I do, I am down material, but yeah, I don't know. Hmm, so he covers this square while also attacking my bishop. So one thing I could do is just take the pawn back. That's one option. Um, I, could, I kind of want to preserve the bishop, though. So... One thing I could do here is, um, I could just recapture, but then he takes with his queen. Let's see here. Mm, I, if he takes the bishop here, I don't love that. So you know what? Let's do something a little zesty. Maybe. No, let's do this. I think it's bad, but let's 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 make him take the, the bishop. I don't know why I want him to take the bishop, but I feel like having the queen there on the diagonal is fine. So yeah, with the French defense, I feel like people, including me, are out of you you know, you're sort of in uncharted waters right away. But I think, you know, a lot of the time you can get into opening traps if you play like e4, e5, people prepare so many little tricks and traps there, so playing something a little off the beaten path with black, I, I feel like I don't get checkmated so quickly, so that's why I do it. Now I have to keep an eye on the time here, so yeah. My disclaimer at the start about this being, you know, more of a path to 2000 rather than a road, I think that message should be ringing true with a lot of people. Um, yeah. It's hard to sort of fill the... I should really keep notes about current affairs and comment on things in these long gaps of time where nothing's happening. Yeah. But I have not prepared notes for right now. Okay, other ideas. I obviously want to bring my knight out to castle. Um, if he... Uh, if he ca I think he's going to capture though so capture here and then what can he do um, maybe he just develops his bishop here into my 
queen, in which case, I don't know, maybe I just retreat my queen to here. I feel like it's not really in the way, and it's defending this pawn. So yeah, my development's sort of going to be very much delayed, but okay, he's taking a long time on this move. Interesting. So if he's not to capture the bishop, um, I don't know really what his plan is. This knight, I think, interesting. Hmm. Strange. I kind of want to force his hand here. Maybe something like this. If he captures, I can actually capture with the queen. So yeah, let's do that plan anyways. He's also attacking this. Hmm. Yeah, I, I should probably do something about that. Hmm. Not a great position. Do I care if he takes that? Because if he, uh, yeah, I do. I definitely do care. Mm, definitely care. Yeah, what to do? I could pin it. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Let's do that. Let's pin that piece. So, I didn't really think that moved through too much. But, you know, he, he can't really take this pawn now because it would obviously hang his queen. Um, if he takes this, I recapture. You know, everything's still pinned. Um, okay, he captures there in the end. Anything with move orders I need to think about? No, not really. I think I'll just recapture. Okay. Now... Um, Interesting. Okay, so there's got to be some tactics here. So the thing is, I want to, if I push this pawn, I win his knight because uh, you know it's pinned. But my right now my queen's under attack, of course. So I kind of want to just check him, but then he can block with this pawn, and then my queen's under attack again. So maybe I check him here. Maybe that's the move. And then if he blocks with his bishop, I can take the pawn. Maybe that's the move. Let's try that. So if he blocks with his queen, I mean, that would sort of avoid the tactic I was talking about. So that would be annoying. I don't really want to trade queens. Another thing I could do, if he moves his queen here, um, I could just take, you know, trade queens and then take the knight, and then he has to double his pawns. Um, but he is up a pawn, so okay. So he just pushes the pawn to block, which is sort of what I was thinking he might do. So now this is what the ta this is the tactic I saw. If he goes here. I can take the knight. He has to spend a tempo taking this. Then I go here. So I feel like that's... I gotta go for that, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go here. So he sees that. Um, do I move back then here? Then capture? No, I think I capture now. Okay, capture here. Didn't actually win me material. I had miscalculated clearly. But I can move this knight out and fork two undef well pawns, sort of. So let's do that. So it's hitting this pawn, which is undefended. Oh, it's not. It is defended. I'm, I'm dumb. But it's also hitting this pawn, which is also double defended. <laughs> okay, calculation skills on full display here. I should just castle, I think. Um, his bishops are scything across the board. He, he castled into a pretty weak area, so maybe I should try to exploit that. Um... Yeah, so his queen's really 
holding this all together right now. And the queen is usually a pretty easy piece to kick away, not a great defender. So maybe I can make his queen a little uncomfortable by moving my rook out there. Um, you know, speaking of having, uh, I think I want to sort of keep my queen on the same area. So let's just move here, I think. Yeah, let's go to here. I kind of want to move somewhat quickly. I also don't want his pawns to get rolling too fast because he's got some scary pawns on that side of the board. So, I mean, if he could move his rook here, maybe I'd blockade, not sure. Okay, that seems like a good move. The, my development is so bad on this side of the board. Maybe I go here for now. Yeah, I'll go here. And this move, I think now I am threatening to take this pawn. And then I'm sort of getting up close to his king, so hopefully forces him to spend some time worrying. Yeah, so if I take with the, I want to take with the knight because I want to attack and I don't want to have a tr queen trade. Another thing, I am attacking this pawn. Hmm, lots to consider. Let's see here. Definitely want to get my rook into the action, but also need to get my knight activated. Hmm. If I go, if I develop my knight here and then here, the two knights would hold each other after I took the pawn. So yeah, what I'm thinking is something like this. If I have free moves, you know, I can do this. Then my knights are really good, getting up close to the king. So yeah, that's. That would be good. Um, yeah, he's spending a lot of time here, thankfully. So he defends it like that. So I'll take this opportunity to... Do I just grab this pawn then? Yeah, I feel like I just grabbed the pawn. And then other pawns are hanging. Okay, I'll just grab the pawn. Sort of a return to my cowardly roots. One thing I have to work, watch out for is if he pushes that, he's threatening to essentially just win my rook there. So I have to be very careful. Okay, he wants to hold on to his pawns. I think I'll just move out here. And now I have, I can get my knights jumping. What is he cooking here? Do I just start throwing my pieces at his king here? Maybe. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's start throwing pieces at the king here. Okay. So I have a renewed threat on this, this pawn. I think... I want to take with, I think I want to take with this so that my queen then has a route to this square. Okay, that's a good move. Um, let's see here. I can just take this with check. It would be a queen trade, but then at the end I get a pawn. So maybe I just do that. Take, oh, I don't get a pawn. Um, okay, I'm just going to line up my rook here then. Oh, I do get a pawn, what am I talking about? I am hallucinating. Definitely just go here, take the pawn. Okay, so he has got a dark squared bishop. So I wanna be very careful to, you know, if I'm being super careful, I wanna play fast, keep my rooks on light squares. Um, and also look out for potential forks. So he wants, he's got control of this file. I don't want him to have that. So going there, he 
his king is not on a forkable square right now. So, one, oh, of, of course. Hmm, what to do? His bishop is a little, maybe I'll just go here confidently, like I saw it the whole time. <laughs> Pretend I saw everything. Like I've trapped his bishop. I don't think I have. <laughs> but, uh, okay. Um, right. So we could go for a trade here. Yeah, I'll just, I just have to move confidently, I think. Take here. Okay. He is defending that. Why don't I just... No, that would be bad. I need to give myself some lift here. Now this king is wide open. Uh, let's see. Let's defend this. Yeah, I should get a piece on this open file here so I can harass his king a bit more. Yeah, I think that's the that's the play. I should probably start doing it a bit faster. Okay, go here. Don't know what his plan is. Probably moving a pawn there to prevent from checks. Okay, he's doubled up. I have a check. I'm going to attack this. Of course, he can. I can double up as well. If he takes this pawn, I get a free rook. Of course, he could just trade here and then. Okay, like I said. But now I get this pawn. He does have the past pawn though, which is a little annoying. So yeah, I've definitely got to stay behind that past pawn. I think the time, the clock is going to be very relevant here though. We did, there's no increment. Okay, one move. He's going to progress this. I'm going to get behind it. Um, I'm going to get just get behind it. It's something I need to do anyways. Maybe not the best move. Maybe I should have blockaded his king from getting in. Um, but, you know, I don't have time for... Okay, I'm going to go here. Okay, I guess I'm going to go back. Mm, I'm going to go here, just confidently. I'm going to go here, try to get towards his past pawn. Maybe I create a past pawn of my own here. Okay. So he wants to uh, attack that past pawn. Okay, I'm going to take this with check. Okay, now here, he is lower on the clock, so definitely want to keep that in mind. Okay, so he can get the pawn for sure. That's going to be a little annoying. Can he convert in the time that, wow, I really threw this end game. Okay, he threw the end game. I really played this quite poorly, I must say. It started out maybe not so hot. I played the French defense, um, sort of cringe. Oh, cringe. So this is not the move here. The the old lateral exchange French. Mm, mm -hmm. Not often seen. Oh, the mar is this called the Marshall? I actually don't know the names of any openings. I have no clue what this is called. It's not telling the us. The Marshall variation. Okay, so this is not a bad thing by any means. It's just odd to me. Mm. Okay. 
So you're supposed to delay recapturing the pawn here. I think you're supposed to do this. Yeah. So if we look at the analysis, oh, it wants d4. Oh. Strange. Yeah, but I think I think at, at our wow. at, at this level, what we want to do is focus on doing like good principles ass move because the tr queens would get traded. You can't can castle. Mm -hmm. So what we want is good principles of the opening rather than perfect opening theory. Yeah, there's not going to be. I'm not playing perfect opening theory, and you shouldn't be trying to either. True. At sixteen. True. Very good point. Okay, so that is moving the queen out in the opening a little early, but you've got a good sort of threat lined up. I want to get a little, I, I you know, this is, the, this is the threat. And, yeah. you know, I, I know that's... Oh, God! <laughs> what the <laughs> hell is that? Why did you, is this a mouse slip? Or was this intentional? Hmm. Did you intentionally waste so I thought about for this. no reason? I thought about this for a while. I thought okay. about this one for a while. <laughs> you I, thought about this for a while? So, on the one hand... Here, I don't want to Please. take the bishop. On you the okay? Line? Oh, you don't want it to take the bishop. <laughs> I don't want to take okay, the bishop. Okay, good, good start. What does the computer want from me here? What does it want from me? Imagine it's e5. Uh, <laughs> no. Queen b4 check. This is sensible. Right. Threatening to win a knight. Okay, fine. That would have been good. Damn. <laughs> okay. But that's not forcing as well. But I really want to know the. Well, the I didn't. Juice I didn't e5. like this. Right. And I also didn't like this. Why didn't you like that? Because if I take, what? Well, how bad is taking? Pretty bad. It's pretty bad, right? I, I didn't like I it because the why. queen yeah, exactly. comes in. And that. What does that threaten? All sorts of shenanigans. It's threatening the bishop then. Yeah. To win it, and right. that's just that. This is not a fun time. No. So this is sort of what happens when feisty little ideas like the mm -hmm. queen and bishop battery come out way too early mm -hmm. um but okay sure and so so as a by process of deduction there you chose to push the oh. <laughs> well because i didn't i didn't like i didn't like this uh-huh so i have to do this <laughs> right. <laughs> right well if he'd captured you develop your bishop with tempo Mm hmm true or not with tempo but so like true with that's a free developing move for you mm hmm that's and a very good point yeah and that that knight wh where where does the knight want to go if that if the knight is on e4 where does your knight want to go um probably here yeah yeah because yeah. yeah, 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 i don't want to i don't want to have to double double my pawns here yes, sir okay but the the brilliance of e5 push here is now that now, oh, the now brilliance. the brilliance, the sheer delicate, subtle brilliance, mm -hmm. is now you can very move, subtle brilliance. You can move your knight <laughs> to f six because it's protected by the queen. Yeah, yeah. See, I was, I was, uh, I was, that was what I was thinking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> we delicate see here, it doesn't capture the bishop. Wow. But now then, but then, uh, but now I'm like, ooh, this is not a good position. Now the Pinsky Lewinsky comes into play, uh, which is a good, great move. Great so move I was like, God, this is the, he, these knights are just running hog wild. I gotta slow him down a little true, bit. True, true, true. So now, petition to change the knight, name of the knight to the hog. The hog, <laughs> the boss hog. <laughs> yes. Ooh, so okay. now I see a, a potential tactiche. I was saying the exact same words in my head. Yeah. Please. So, queen's okay. hit, but I want to check so that I'm not hit anymore. Okay. And then I can push Very nice. and win a knight. But it doesn't really win a knight, as we'll see later. A second. One second. Yeah. So it's telling you the best move, and the best move that we can see, both of us should be able to see, is queen, B4. queen b4. Okay, that's a, not the best move, but... The, a good move with the same idea, a better move, is queen b4. But I thought he could block check with... Yeah, but then you win the b2 pawn. <sighs> so you're doing fool. you're doing a double attack. So even if he defends... Right, he could he could do a whole number of defenses. Oh, if you go that's so good. I'm so bad. Okay, let's, oh. not, let's, not be, <laughs> let's not be beating ourselves up. But if you go there and there or there, you always get this pawn. And then... That's so true. If... if, if Right, because if you go here, then this move stops 
stops you know what they you say, from forward, dealing. Forward queen moves are the hardest to see. <laughs> they do say that. Forward the... queen checks are the hardest to see. <laughs> the old wisdom. Uh, yeah. But it is, it, I, I think it's a psychological thing, because you don't want to move your queen too far forward in the opening. That is, like, something that is ingrained in most people. Uh, I think it's just brain rot for me, but thanks. <laughs> okay. um, so. The old TikTok generation. Yeah, yeah, so here we go. Checked him. Checked him up. Yeah. I was like, haha, he blocked in a way that didn't make me move my queen. So yeah, now, a, so now I win a knight. Okay, but then you run but into But then the I old... didn't win a knight. Whoa. Why, why, why are they so angry about this? They're like you have H3, furious right? about this. Um, I guess this. I always think H three is there. Right, H three. Uh, again, another. So H three is also good. Is that what they played? Yep. Okay, That's what they played. Yeah. This is another common sort of thing: counter attacking the the pin yeah. the pinner. Wow. No, I don't preserve. It. I just sort of want my pawn back, but then okay. I don't get it back. Yeah. So, whatever. Okay. Well, honestly, this position looks fine for you. Hmm. I would say. It's, it's shot. plus seven. <laughs> it's, it's plus eight. Funny that it does look <laughs> fine for me. It, But it is not immediately easy to pick up on why it's so ass. Right. Um, I felt very uncomfortable. So. Well... As you should get. I sort of always feel uncomfortable. <laughs> so this, I like uh, this move. Also, I just need to develop the knight. And at the time, I was like, "Look, I'm hitting both bonds." <laughs> and uh -huh. then I realized, right? Hmm. Right. Mm, right. Not hitting both pawns and then at G, all. G five is not great for you. Yeah. Because, G five is. Well. So G five yeah. is pretty bad. Also, D six is pretty bad because. Bishop attacks b7. Yeah, so... So so there are... there are Paradise is sort of problemed. Mm -hmm. But he doesn't really do that. He castles. Shocking. Which though. I was like... Whew. I, immediately I was like, that's bad. Yeah. I can find... that. That's my win right there. Right, true. So I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> and that was my chance to strike. <laughs> It is best. It's the best It is move. best. But it was just a funny way. Uh, I don't think I let into it very well. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to make your king safe before you That's go on true. any That's attack. True. That's true, right? Okay. We learned that from the cowardly chess mm -hmm. speedrun, for sure. So. Okay, nice. I would have played that as well, actually. Because uh, I want I don't want these pawns to get rolling too Good easily. Thinking. The yeah. endgame prowess is starting to tingle now, yeah. I feel like. Your, your so, great abilities. There, right? Good. Yeah, I, I felt like that same. was natural. And okay. attacking the pawns, so they have to yeah. react. Ah, uh, you're chipping away at their advantage. And now it feels a little better. Mm -hmm. A little bit of trouble there. Not yeah. quite my tempo. What do you think? What do you think is uh, their move here? If if you had to look, um, if you had to not look, I'm not looking at the analysis. Their move. Ooh. I guess bishop d4? That's what I was concerned about. I think they actually played it. That's why I remember. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Bishop d4. Oh, no, they didn't. Oh, they play it later, maybe. <laughs> yeah, um, bishop d4 would be concerning for me because it blasts open the the um, the king's safety. Especially bad so when... So bishop d4 here would be bad, though. No. Queen defense. Oh, that. I'm dumb. I'm so dumb. It's okay. fine. <laughs> Love that for me. But, like, like in this in these kinds of positions, just... Something to, to keep aware of. Obviously, everyone says look for your opponent's best move. But yeah. when you have a really open board, especially if the king, their king, has pawns pushed in front of it, they can mm -hmm. really easily get a rook active. So you don't, in this position, you really mm -hmm. want to avoid opening up your king. True. Because your king is going to be... Going to be slow. That's some very deep insight. And he actually makes moves to yeah. open up his rooks. Yeah. 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 Um, but here, all I was thinking about is getting these knights hopping. I love your little plans. Nice. So, hop, hop. Hopping away. Okay. Now, this, yeah, he did play this here. Yeah. But now yeah, it's now, not now good. It's worse. Um, so, what did I go for here? How do you even defend your knight, really? So oh, you go, queen I go, I go C7? for the queen trade. 
Oh, dear lord. Naturally. Okay. That's actually the best move. That is the best. But it's not as a good... I thought I, I had more, but then I couldn't find it. I like that move, though. That's great. That's not what I would have done. I would have been more... King core. has to come out. I would have been more cowardly and, and done worse. So that was good. So here, I think I play a rook. Like, I think I do this. So I'm hitting this pawn. Which is free for you. I'm going to win it. Yeah. Already. You can just take it now. Please let me take it. Yes! Yes! My boy! Wow. I, <laughs> he takes it. I didn't see it <laughs> now, so it's a miracle that I did it then. Um, so, you were invested in the game at the time. Yeah. Ooh, now you're better. Let's go. So I wanted the open file. I didn't want him to just have the this open file. but So you hung upon nicely. Yeah. <laughs> but then, but, and then, and but. then I was like, no, I didn't hang upon. <laughs> it was a trap. So I played very quickly afterwards uh -huh. and confidently. Right. It's somehow no. plus four for the opponent. This was a trap. It was a trap for you? <laughs> Your, bishop. Your bishop is trapped right. now. But what is the continuation for the opponent? Mm, well, there's lots of things, actually. Sure. But... <laughs> Definitely. Oh, undoubtedly, yeah. So, so, so yeah. yeah um, rook takes rook. You could rook takes rook and then boot the knight. Just, mm -hmm. you know, spitballing here. Uh, and then, you know, take the pawn. Nice. <laughs> so, good balls. So there we very go. Very good spitballs. So that um, sort of immediately shatters my dreams. But, you know. So Not played. he kicks immediately, which is poor. Oh, okay. So going for the trade? Yeah. Interesting. Because then, I f if, if this Takes. and this, Takes. his pawn, he, he can like, you know, his pawn's annoyed. You're right. And it's becomes hot and bothered. Uh, so it's Sully. It's Sully. So the old Sully pawn. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this happens, and he's got to commit a rook here, which is right. annoying for him. So I'm just uh, like, nice. I need move. some luft. Throw it. Always throw it in. You always have time to make luft. Mm -hmm. That is something that I was going to say actually, is your king is unlooted. Yeah. And needs True. looped. And then you just fucking went and did it. The absolute madman. And now we're equal in material and it's an end game. And I'm feeling good. That's a W for our boy. Yeah. And so now I'm like, oh, I can molest this king. Okay. In the Spanish in sense. In the Spanish sense. Of course. Of course. Of father, if you're not. Molestar. Molestar, yeah. So, um, yeah, he, I just sort of, you know, just harassing his pawns here. Rook behind a pawn, typically. No, but I want him to no. blunder. Ah, I see. Wise. Yeah. Very wise. So. But, but in general, I would go rook behind a pawn. Yeah, that's, then you that's can fair. Add, that is, that's a good point. You can yeah. add uh, a little bit more. But I was trying to play fast. Um, play fast. Play fast, play good. Okay. So here, this is bad. There's a little bit of trouble here. Sort of blunders a pawn. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but playing fast is good. Yeah. In some situations. So. Dead draw now. But, draw. but difficult to now he's got the past pawn and I'm in a I'm in a lot of trouble. So I think I misplayed this end game pretty bad. <laughs> no, <laughs> pretty pretty bad. So one one idea. So my end game is not the best, and mine here is not the best either. It's That's very true. poor. But in such positions, I would actually go for this check. And then slot my king in here. I'm remembering how I win now, and I'm very. No, You're very glad he, you didn't. <laughs> no, because he goes here. Yeah. Then you can then you can slot your king to g7, and bring your rook behind, and the king starts getting trapped in a mating net. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Right. Yeah, I like that. And there's a lot of unavoidable checkmates. Ooh, wow! This sort right? of thing is something I just so never common. look for. So commonly happens. Move your king to g7. So I don't even this, need to. Oh, I do need you to. Need to. <laughs> and then, and then so your rook, like, then right. his king is cannot get out, and you are wow. winning. Wow, wow, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So these are. This is a very common position. Wow, I did, didn't even occur to me. Wow. Um, okay. So I'm instead, so shocked. I, that instead, that I decide to. <laughs> I'm so shocked that was a good move. I think. It's all best so far. The boy is cooking. Oh, this was bad. I don't know why I thought this was good. Uh, it eliminates a pawn. The reason you... this is bad, and I wouldn't have played it if I had more time, uh -huh. is like I, this pawn is well. 
This would be kind of bad too, because then kick and then you uh, you win one anyways. No, no, kick you oh, take, take the it upon, upon right? And then if, if he takes, he's again in a mating net. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I see what you mean. So it's like, so it's like here, Show the boys at home. kick, take. If takes, um, he's in a lot of trouble. He's not uh, not, not in a mating a, net really. No, it's not. But it's. It's another potential. Oh, you could blunder mate in one. Yeah, he's uncomfortable. Yeah, because if you move but your I just rook, need to do here yeah. and then. Yeah. He needs to move his king. Yeah. And then I can start marching my pawn. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. True. This would have been good. But again, it's only slightly better than what was played. Yeah, and then I somehow blunder. My last okay. remaining pawn. So you win this somehow. I do. Wow. It's you win this? Yes. It's I'm not proud of it. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. But look, it's because I'm up on time and it he's is. panicking. I hey. earned that blunder. You did. You, you earned that. That is your blunder for the team. I earned that. Nicely done. Well sloiced, my friend. Yeah. That's so. a good that was a good game. Okay, I mean, it was a little... It was not a good game no, at all. Bad in the opening. Mm -hmm. The middle game, also kind of bad. Yeah. End game, poor. End game was better. And yet, end, I won. End, end game was was better than the opening and middle game. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm glad that I didn't I didn't have a way to hold on to that pawn. I felt like I just blundered away all my pawns somehow. Mm -hmm. But I didn't make any huge blunders, so... No. And I felt like the end game... And this game, is still a draw. And I know it's I know it is a draw, but I don't know how, exactly how to yeah make it in my head at the time i'm like oh i'm gonna lose this but no, I, no. I figured it was like the drawing the drawing sequence if you're interested mm -hmm. is keeping your king here and the rook behind the pawn and yeah. their rook has to move out of the way of the pawn to queen it yeah so at that point take the pawn with your rook which is behind the pawn right and don't yeah. and shoulder off their king so you want to do exactly what you did which was this to stop their king from getting close this is the sort of line that would would ensue. I mean, mm -hmm. their they did that blundering their rook, but their rook moves, and you take. Right, that yeah. would have been the thing. Their rook can't go anywhere here, yeah. so rook has to move, and then you take. And then it's just a well, no, here this is a check. Yeah, but you can go B whatever. Yeah, and B seven, and then they can't defend really. Then go king b6. Yeah, okay, I see what you're yeah. see what you're cooking. That's cool. Um, okay, so next game. Should well, we we'll, we'll let's cut, let's cut it we'll and cut it here. Yeah. Okay, but I think overall, good. I think there were some teachable moments in the end game. Yeah. But for basically sure. the teachable moments in the whole, the whole thing. every move, kind of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I think uh, the end game was actually on the whole good. Um, there was some that cool idea, mm -hmm. but I think mainly in the opening and middle game, just think about more principles and more what the opponent's going to do, right? Rather than what um, your plans are only, right? Um, and that's a skill that has to be built up. But I thought it was a game, mm -hmm. and you won. You took the yeah. you took the took, fat dub. Took the dub, and we'll see you in the next one.